So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn on image reading inside of your conversation AI bots. So the AI bot is able to solve problems visually. It can analyze screenshots, maybe receipts, menus, or even product photos. And once analyzed, it will be able to provide precise guidance. This will help you to get to a faster resolution time, for example, if you're running a ticketing system, because it will reduce the follow-up questions like, hey, what's on screen? The customer can send in a screenshot immediately what they see and the bot is able to analyze it. Let me show you how you can turn this on. So first let's navigate to AI agents on the left, click conversation AI at the top, click on agents list, select your agent in question or create a new one. Let's go ahead and edit this one. Click the three dots, click on edit, scroll down a little bit. And right here, you can see the option also allow the spot to respond to images and voice notes. Just turn on this button like that. And don't forget to hit the save button bottom right. Right here, you can decide how long it can take the bot when it goes to sleep. We have put two hours and then right here, how long the bot will wait until it replies to the request. We put one minute because maybe sometimes people send multiple images, text message and a voice voice messages as well at the same time. So it gives the bot time to analyze all of these files and text messages in order to create the most effective reply, basically. So the supported file types are JPEG, PNG, as well as HEIC. It also works for multiple different channels, such as the chat widget, Instagram, Facebook, SMS, live chat, WhatsApp, and MMS. Please note that the delivery and the size limit can vary by the channel and the carrier. For the best results, please make sure to verify policies before large or high resolution images. Now let's move over to conversations. Here we have a conversation going with one of our prospects, let's say, and this is a WhatsApp chat. And here you can see the prospect is very interested in making a lot of money in order to buy a building such as the Burj Khalifa, for example. And he's asking how much money do I need? So the board is replying, hey, that's a huge ambition. I can't give financial advice. But the team can walk you through strategies to scale your income on a call. So the bot is trained to guide the chat towards booking an appointment. So now let's reply with a screenshot of our calendar and let the bot figure out to suggest a suitable time. Now the bot is waiting. So if you click the AI bot active button down here, you can see it is active. If you open this window, you can see it's counting down from that one minute that we said earlier in the bot settings wait for one minute until you reply, right? And that one minute that always resets itself once the customer sends another message. So here the bot just dropped the link. It didn't go and check what's the availability because I actually trained it the way that it only is allowed to drop the link. But you can dictate those little things inside the prompt, inside of your AI agent settings. Or here, for example, let's say you are a real estate agent and you are renting houses or selling flats and villas then a quick conversation could help to just understand visually what the client is after. Here the client is sending an image of a villa and he said, I would like to buy something like this. Then the agent confirms back if it's correct what he's seeing. And then the client or the prospect sends back, oops, sorry, sent the wrong image. I would actually like to live in such a building like this. And then the bot understands and is asking, hey, would you like me to find similar flats in this area for you? If the bot reply feels too generic, then that may be because the image is blurry or has a low compression and context is missing. Standard messaging rates may apply as well as any applicable AI usage in your account. Well, I hope you liked this feature and I will see you in the next one. For more information about this particular feature or any other feature, check out the Content Army YouTube playlist as well as the Help Doc library linked in the show notes below and our blog.